Hey guys, building muscle after 40 in the gym, which is best? High intensity training that's done with low volume and low frequency versus high volume, high frequency and medium intensity. Now, which is gonna be the best for uh, growth and building muscle? Now, we got two ends of the spectrum here. Let's give you some context. So, Arnold Schwarzenegger from the 70s, film star, massive, built his body on 20 sets of body parts, training six days a week, three hours a day, versus a guy called Mike Menser or Dorian Yates, uh, Dorian who typically spent 45 minutes in the gym, four days a week, uh, one to two sets per body part, and was one of the biggest, built one of the biggest bodies in history. So both sides of that spectrum have the opportunity to work if they're implemented properly. So which one's gonna be best for you in the gym? And I would suggest going down the route of, because of efficiency and recovery, less frequently training at a higher intensity um, and a lower volume when you're looking to build muscle with resistance training. Paradoxically, when you want to build your fitness or your cardiovascular health, you can be a little bit more liberal, sprinkling uh, higher volume, higher frequency with getting out there, running, rowing, cycling, that sort of thing, building your heart. Okay, guys, uh, very short one today. <laughs> Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye.